We know approximately when it happened, but we don't know why. They say it was a Belgian surgeon named Andreas Vesalius who created some of the first anatomical drawings of the human pelvis. And he got it wrong. For whatever reason, Vesalius drew the standing pelvis with a 90 degree backward rotation. Leonardo da Vinci's drawings were much closer to the truth. But the world of Western medicine and surgery stuck by Vesalius. And so it is that for as long as they have existed, gynecology, orthopedics, and physical therapy have upheld and defended a conception of pelvic anatomy that is grossly inaccurate. Shockingly, few people have pointed out the mistake. One gynecologist, two veterinarians, a couple of urogynecologists, and one whole woman. And the orthopedic surgeons? They've been busy implanting artificial hips without regard for the true orientation of the standing pelvis. In case you think this is some minor error, think again. The pelvis is already rotated all the way forward, just like in our furry relatives. Our hip bones, or ilia, have pulled back and become much more massive on top. Our sacrum has widened, as have our hip bones, in order to birth our large-headed offspring. We have a true horizontal pelvis, and you know what else? We have no pelvic floor. That's right, only a thin wall of muscle at the back of the body, whose major function is to seal intra-abdominal pressure within the torso. The pubic bones come together underneath us, like straps of a saddle. We stand over them like a rider on horseback. They're always underneath us, no matter how much we tilt our pelvis. Under the forces of intra-abdominal pressure, the three pelvic organs bend 90 degrees away from their channels to position themselves directly behind the lower abdominal wall. Our pelvic organs are supported by our lower abdominal wall and away from the pelvic outlet at the back of the body. Core strength, kegels, pelvic floor surgery, and the neutral pelvis are all illusions that vanish into thin air when the correct anatomy of the pelvis is realized. Tilting your pelvis forward and back becomes a meaningless exercise in light of the fact that your pelvis is already tilted all the way forward. Trying to tilt it more forward feels terrible and looks worse. Tilting it back by pulling in the abdominals is equally uncomfortable and unattractive. Trying to find some arbitrary balance in the middle by contracting certain muscle groups in hopes of consciously stabilizing your pelvis is a laughable exercise in ego over nature. Learn whole woman posture and fully realize the strength, grace, and beauty of your natural design.